In this video, I'm going to show you how we do our hive inspections. First up, we get our smoker going. For our smoker, we use predominantly dry pine needles. This colony wasn't uh, too aggressive, so we didn't give too much smoke. We cracked the lid open where the bees have glued it down with propolis. And then the first thing that we do is we always just have a look inside the lid, especially if the bees are clumping on it to see if the queen is there. It's always good to spot that she's there, then we can actually safely work through the hive without knowing that we're gonna roll her. In this particular instance, uh, the queen unfortunately was not in the lid. You can see them marching here towards the box, um, which also is a reassurance that the queen is horribly inside there. When it comes to removing the frames, we like to start with the second frame away from us. Um, it's just a little bit easier to crack, uh, you know, the propolis that glues the frames together. And uh, normally the, the outer two frames are carrying uh, resources. We then check that frame just to make sure that it is only resources. We don't bounce the bees off that frame because there's no need to. Uh, the queen won't be on, on the resource frame generally. And then we just uh, leave that frame then on our rack to the side of the hive. On this second frame, you can see there was just honey there, and that's a frame we may consider to remove. And then we work our way through the box, and what we're looking for as we pull each frame up is we're just looking at the brood pattern. We take a quick look, we see whether or not there's eggs, larva, or capped brood, and then we can understand what cycle we're on. We give the, the hive a little bit of puff of smoke now and again just to keep the bees calm and um, it pushes them back down into the box as well. So you can see we're just working away from us here where we gently lift each frame, making sure that we don't crush any bees. And um, we can see the, the back side away from us first and then we can turn it around and see the other side. In this particular case, there's brood on that frame so we know that the brood starts at frame number three in this box. Now from that particular frame, more often than not, we find brood on uh, the next few frames. So you'll see we move quite quickly through this um, just to make sure that there is brood. There's capped brood on that frame as well. Moving then on to frame number seven. And here as well, there's brood on both sides of that frame. This colony is looking nice and strong. Slip that one back in. Frame number eight, brood on that frame as well. Frame number nine now, and there we start to see resources again. So this colony is building nicely. Oh, there's a bit of brood on that side, but there's resources again on this side. So this colony is building quite nicely, and we're looking at uh, a colony that's going to soon be eight frames. And when we get to eight frames, we generally super up the brood box so that they can start to store honey in the top. Now we know what this box has got. It's got three resource frames in the beginning. And then it's got six and a half frames of brood and then another two frames of resources two and a half frames of resources so what we're going to do is we're actually going to take two of those resource frames out and make space for this queen generally we like to put full wax sheets in so that they can draw it out quickly and then the queen likes a fresh comb and she will lay in that you see we bounce the bees off this and um, that's just the resource frame and in goes a frame this one doesn't have a full wax sheet it's got a wax strip on it and uh, we put one frame on each side of the brood the brood is generally where the nest will cluster at night to keep it warm so we don't want to split that up uh, we want to put the two empty frames on each side of the brood, they'll build it out, the queen will lay in that and then we'll move those new frames into the center and the old frames out at a later stage. And that's it. That uh, box has been inspected. Uh, we're happy with it. The progress with this colony is looking good. We'll make sure the bees go down into the box before we put the lid back on. And then you'll see, just we'll clear the areas where the lid touches the, um, the box in the front so where it touches the box at the back to limit uh, squashing any, any little bees that will be on those two spots where the lid rests on the brood box. And then we slide it gently on and that box has been inspected.